Hello, hello. Today we are once again picking up on the cabinetry for Tracy's office. Now we've produced almost everything necessary to assemble this project, including the toe kicks, the cabinet boxes, the drawer boxes, the doors, uh, there's only a few things left. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show specifically how we're making the base molding. Now this is interesting because there's gonna be a combination of linear base molding as well as wrapped curved base molding that go around corners. So we're gonna be using multiple workstations in today's video on Legacy's Maverick CNC system. So let's go show you how it's done. So let's jump back to our CAD drawing where this entire project is already laid out. Just to give you an idea of what we're going to be producing. So the linear molding is going to be mitered um, in order to go around these different stepped sections. And then here on the two inner corners, we're actually gonna wrap the molding around the corner uh, so it matches the actual curve shape of the brick pilasters in the corners. And so that's gonna be wrapped right around a diameter section and then continuing on with a linear molding component, making this transition very fluid. To get things started, we're going to produce the linear molding on the horizontal workstation. And this is done with two blanks that have been prepped five feet long by four inches wide and 1.25 inches thick. So we decided to use poplar as our material because it is stable and it's easy to machine and takes a paint finish beautifully. The cutters used throughout this video are from magnate.net and here we used a round over cutter to apply the radius along the edge and a large Cove Classic cutter to give us the main detail of the molding. If you haven't had the chance, I highly recommend checking out Magnate's website, magnate.net, where they have a plethora of cutter profiles that are unique to the woodworking industry. These two components were held down using Legacy's Low Pro clamps, which were originally designed to be used with T-Track or T-Slot tables shown here. Now let's move on to the wrapped molding. This is going to be done by holding four mitered pieces together as a single component in the turning center. Now to make sure these parts are aligned properly before we uh, mount on end plates, we are going to hold these in place with double stick tape. And using the traditional tape method, we can easily wrap these four parts together, knowing these are all positioned correctly. Now for the end caps. These caps will ensure that the blank is mounted perfectly between center. The CNC is able to quickly apply hole patterns for where we want to place screws. We were also able to apply this custom square post, which is key in the center alignment process. Those square posts made this alignment process dead simple. The tailstock end simply uses some screws to mount it in place, but the headstock end has a specific hole pattern to mount this faceplate ring. Now we can easily insert this into a self-centering four jaw chuck and we know that it is perfectly aligned from headstock to tailstock using these mounting hubs. Before we can use the two profile cutters that were used on the linear molding, we need to turn this entire blank round close to four inches in diameter. This cutter can also be found at magnate.net. This is the inch and a quarter surfacing cutter. You may have noticed that the first three passes are done quickly with large step overs to make sure we can rough the material in a timely manner. However, the final pass is done with a smaller step over to ensure that we have a smooth, clean finish. All of these turning processes are programmed in Legacy's conversational cam turning software, which takes advantage of turning techniques like this better than any other software in the industry. And now we can use the exact same cutters to wrap these profiles around the diameter. Now 
This ability to switch between different workstations to create custom components, or in this scenario, to apply the same design to different surfaces, sets Legacy apart. This is what gets a lot of people excited about CNC because they're not locked into only one type of capability. Thanks for watching. Now these types of videos generate a lot of different questions from can the machine do what I need it to do and can it solve the problems that I need resolved to is this something that I can truly handle learning when it comes to software or how fast can I incorporate this into my business and many, many more. I recommend you take advantage of two resources to answer your questions. First is head on over to our website at LegacyWoodworking.com. There you'll find all the different product information, additional cutting demonstrations, and much more. The second resource I recommend doing is actually getting in contact with one of our CNC experts. You can call them at 801-491-0010. They will be happy to answer any of your questions, put on software or cutting demonstrations with the machines, and point you to additional resources, again, to um, fulfill your needs. Now, if you'd like to just simply watch more videos, I don't blame you, just click right over there. I think we all know what to do. If you want to be notified of future videos, uh, just click that button down below and don't hesitate to give us a like if you liked what you saw. As always, thanks for watching. And remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems and allows you to say yes to more opportunities than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.